You ready? You ready? You ready? Oh boy, what do we have here for you today? We have the commutative, commutative, commutative property of both mm, addition and mm, multiplication, shall we? Yes, with this commutative property, we can see that we can actually commute those two. Like if 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 if, 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 if you were going to work, yeah, work. You're gonna actually commute. You're gonna go from one place to another. And with this commutative property, what we do is we go through and we move them. We commute them. We actually switch the order. For the commutative property of addition, what do we wanna do? That says we can add numbers in any order. Picture this, two plus three. Is that the same as three plus two? Ooh, here that's five, and there that's five. Now, with the commutative property of addition, you need to um, beware of subtraction. A lot of books will say that subtraction is not commutative, but wait, there's more. Let's explore signed numbers. If we had 2 plus 3, that shouldn't be a plus at all. I'm talking about subtraction. If we had 2 minus 3, we could see this is going to be a minus 1. Because if you had 2 and somebody took 3, you're like, but I only have 2. They're like, you owe me 1. So then that's going to be a minus 1. Now, what your book is saying when they say that it's not commutative, 3 minus 2, that's going to get you a 1. We see that that minus 1 and that 1 is not the same, but note what happens in this scenario. <clears throat> Could we have seen, not like this, but like this, 2 plus a minus 3, and then could we commute those there, say? We could call that a minus 3 plus 2, and when we do, as long as the number is stuck with the sign, you can commute them, because then you're actually commuting the numbers. You're commuting the minus 3 and the positive 2, ooh, and then that's the minus 1. So then we go over to multiplication. We're talking about the commutative property of multiplication. The commutative property is when we actually commute them, when we move them, as if you were going to work, 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 work hard, play hard. We're going to commute these guys. Ready? 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 What am I saying? I'm saying 2 times 3 is the same as 3 times 2. Ooh. Now let's engage in hyper hyperbole. Let's blow this out of proportion. What if we had 2 times 3 times 4? Or 2 times 4 times 3? Or 2 times... Oh, that's all of those. I guess that's 3 times 2 times 4. Or... Um, um, 4 times 2 times 3. Here we would see that 2 times 3 is 6 and times 4 is 24. But wait, there's more. 2 times 4 is 8. Great. 8 times 3 is also 24. There's more. 3 times 2 is 6. And then 6 times 4 is 24. Sure. And then that's an 8 times a 3. But didn't we have that up here? See? What am I saying? I'm saying you can multiply them in any order. And that's the commutative property of multiplication. Box and flower.